Hello and welcome to my review of Ubuntu Budgie 1704. This is the first release of Ubuntu Budgie under Canonical's ownership. Prior to that, it was known as Budgie Remix. You may be more familiar with Budgie Desktop under Solus, and indeed that is where it started. It uses the GTK toolkit and has a lot of GNOME applications on the system. The behaviour of the desktop is somewhat different to GNOME. Let's take a look around the desktop first. So we have a welcome screen. Bit of a basic one, but you do have a link to return to the default settings of the desktop. So you can reset the panels. You have a link to the GNOME Software Center. Uh, that's just the introduction features and getting started, as well as the community side. So fairly basic. On the left hand side, we have a plank panel. Top left hand side, we have the application launcher, and it has a searcher in here that searches for applications only. But it is very fast and responsive picked up the applications within a couple of key presses, so I was after Chromium, so CHR, yeah, that would have picked it up. Otherwise, I can scroll up and down the list and use the Enter key. Responsiveness is reasonably good, and you'll notice the plank auto-hides. Further along the top panel, we have the time and date and calendar. These are just shortcuts to open the respective applications. On the top right-hand side, we have individual menus for the network, notifications, volume control, shutdown menu, and the final button is the launcher for the Raven menu, which has a pop-up for the calendar, volume control, sound source control, and at the bottom is shutdown, lock, and settings. If you are playing a song, it will display it there in that empty space. Let's do that and show you. So open up Rhythmbox. I'll make sure it's muted so I don't break any copyright laws. Yeah, freed from desire, that'll do. And you'll notice the song pop-up has the previous, pause, and next track. Does it for every time a song changes. Anyway, I'll go back to the Raven menu. It shows the display there of the song that's currently playing. A very nice style, that. I quite like it. The overall styling of the applications seems to be very nice and consistent throughout. And you can do the arrow snap-like effect, but only for halves. There's no quadrant option. Yeah, so the scroll bar size is the same. And for the Qt applications, they seem to be rendered perfectly well. So the right-click menu, yeah, that's a light colour. The top menu, well, it has a dark background, but the menus are light. Consistent styling throughout. Top marks there. The GNOME-specific applications have quite a few buttons in the window title bar. And for the menus, some of them are accessed under the icon on the left-hand side. At least everything is local in the application, unlike GNOME itself, where they're kind of scattered between global and local menus. In terms of stability, Ubuntu Budgie has been perfectly fine. I have not had one single crash. Nothing at all. There's a few different options on the plank settings. There's a couple of different themes installed. You can change the position to all the four sides of the desktop. Hmm, a lot more flexible than Unity was. You can change the alignment and the icon size. The behaviour, window dodging. The application choice is a little bit different to the other Ubuntu derivatives. Chromium is the default web browser and Geary Mail is the default mail client. Although we do have the partial suite of LibreOffice. Gnome MPV is the default video player and Rhythmbox is the default music player. Let's look at the system monitor. How's usage going? Well, memory usage has crept up a bit because I didn't run it straight away. You can see the CPU usage isn't particularly high. So what is using up all the memory? Well, 200 meg just for the desktop. GNOME software didn't even have it open. Well, looks like a few of the GNOME applications which are currently running have contributed to a large quantity of the memory usage. One slight difference to GNOME is you can't access these settings from the application launcher. For example, if I was trying to get to displays, well, I attempt to search for displays and it does not appear. It would do under the GNOME desktop and under Unity as well. With Budgie, I actually have to go into the Settings Manager to find these particular settings. So in conclusion, Ubuntu Budgie has worked perfectly well. It is certainly a lot more stable than Budgie Remix was, although I had a suspicion it would be because when I was testing out the beta release, it was very stable back then. Perhaps it might be better running it under Solus, but then you wouldn't have the Ubuntu backend and perhaps a wider range of applications that Ubuntu has in its repositories. It would have been interesting to see Ubuntu head in this direction for their main desktop in 1804. 
At least it would have set them apart from Debian. Otherwise, pretty much it's just going to be Debian with the basic GNOME desktop. Well, that was a look at Ubuntu Budgie 1704. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all later.